Welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. I'm Ken and this is my wife Andrea. If you're new to this channel, it's all about travel, exploring and discovery. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Today is day six on our Carnival Splendor vlog. We'll be doing a full ship tour, taking in some activities and our favorite formal, formal night. night. So, so check, check it out. out. Good morning! It is day six of our cruise on the Carnival Splendor to the Mexican Riviera and today is our sea day. It is. It's a gorgeous day. You can see we're at the back of the ship in the adult only area. There's some people enjoying the sun, but there's still lots of loungers available to sit and enjoy the sunshine. Mm -hmm. And you've got more t-shirts on sale. Two for 20. These are not the same shirts from the earlier day where they yeah. had them for five. Yeah, so they're a little bit more expensive. Um, today we are going to be doing a comprehensive ship tour for you as well as its formal night. And um, yeah, we're going to start right up here on deck 14, right at the top. We'll get right into things. Deck 14 is where you are going to find your mini golf. It's right at the front of the ship and it wraps around. There's nine holes, I believe. It was a lot of fun to play. Yeah, and all the equipment is right there. You can just help yourself and start the game. Yeah. You're also going to find the water slide up here. So this is where you would start the water slide up on the sky deck is what 14 is called. Yeah, gorgeous day today. So we're going to have fun playing some mini golf and looking around. All right, we're going to head down to deck 12. So there is no 13th deck on this ship. Nope. And um, there's the Serenity area here, which is a 21 and up adult area for you to hang out in. There's lots of loungers, um, places to sit. There's a bar up here and a shower. Yes, we actually forgot about this until the end of the cruise to come check this out. If you want to get out of the sun, lots of cabanas. We'll actually walk through here. You can come out on the other side of the ship and we'll show you that as well. So there's more cabanas over here. And this is where you're going to find the bar for the Serenity area. And this deck is called the Sun Deck, if you're wondering. So deck 12. So there you can see the slide again. We are actually going to head over to the rear of the ship, back by the carnival sail there, the big red sail. And we'll show you the running track which is in this area. It's actually really nice where they have located the jogging track. On other ships we've been in, the jogging track has gone around the pool and so joggers tend to be running through cruisers all the time. But up here, they have a nice area to themselves. You can also see the um, kids play area, the water play area for kids. I'm overlooking that here. And you're also gonna find the courts back here. So if you're into basketball or they'll do other activities back here, um, but there's always people playing basketball back here and having fun. More showers back here. Not really sure what they're here for. I don't really see people using them because there aren't any pools right here. Also, you'll find these cool um, wooden benches all over the ship that say Carnival Splendor on them. Great places to sit and read, enjoy some coffee, get some quiet time. And then overlooking the back of the ship, you're gonna find that adult only pool area with a couple of hot tubs. We'll check that out again here shortly. We actually just dump, jumped down to deck 11, which is the spa deck, and we're gonna head into the back here by the elevators. There's four elevators at the back of the ship that run up and down. I believe all the way from deck two, all the way up here to the top. And this is where you're gonna find the steakhouse. I believe it's the Pinnacle Steakhouse is what it's right. called, yeah. You may remember this from um, day two where we took the steakhouse tour, so, and um, cooking. That was great. Sample. Yeah. This is really cool, this area here with the splash park. They also have these nice rocking chairs that you can sit on and rock little ones. Yeah, and they're in the shade, so it's really nice because it can get quite hot. In the center of the ship, you're going to see this retractable roof. So this, they can actually shut the roof on this ship. 
And that overlooks the, the main pool area. You'll also see the big screen there where you can watch movies in the evening and that sort of thing. Towards the front, you'll see the bottom of the water slide here. There's another pool. This is where the water slide comes out as well as there is a hot tub. We are going to head on inside and take a quick look at the, at the fitness center. Cloud 9 Spa. As you can see here, if you head on to the right, that is where you enter the spa. The ladies are here to help you answer your question and explain the services, but we're going to head to the left into the fitness center. I also think there's um, a salon over there if you need to get your hair done, that sort of thing, as well as there is a paid area back here with a therapeutic spa that you can pay for. Now this gym is much bigger than it looks. When I first walked in, I was like, okay, that's nice, but, but I'm surprised it continues. Yeah, there's tons of treadmills that just seems to go on for a long, long time. It goes right around the corner here um, and they overlook the ocean so you can run on the treadmills and um, look for whales, I guess. <laughs> there's sit down bikes and um, ellipticals back here, some water fountains. You can also see behind here, there's that therapeutic pool that you can that you can go into, but you do have to, there is an extra fee for that. Or they probably have packages if you, if you want to do that as well. On the left here, there's a fitness room where they do spin classes and stretching, all that kind of stuff in there. And you're going to find all sorts of the, the machines, the fitness machines over here. As well as over on the left, you're going to see all the free weights are in that area. And towels if you need towels while you're here. All right, we're going to jump down to deck 10, which is the panorama deck. And you're going to find some cabins up here um, down the front of the ship. So in both directions. But here's a, that beautiful elevator that goes right down to deck three. And um, it's just a open area that's really neat. Tomorrow, actually, they're doing a balloon drop in there. Um, you put your name in a balloon and you can win some prizes. But we are going to head outside. And this has a beautiful covered area. There's some hot tubs on either side up here. You can overlook the main pool area. You can have beverages up here and um, it's nice and shady. There's that hot tub. Um, if you've had too much sun, it's a great place to hang out. You're also gonna find ping pong up here and a couple of ping pong tables and people just enjoying themselves. And chess, if you'd like to play a game of chess, they got great big chess board for you to enjoy more sunshine lots of sunshine i think i found you sitting in those chairs there andrea on more than one occasion yes. just relaxing and enjoying the view looking for whales i think i saw a whale but i don't know <laughs> andrea doesn't believe me water fountains right outside the upper portion of the buffet so there's a secret entrance on both sides to the upper portion of the buffet this is where you're going to find the barbecue area of the buffet up here on deck 10 there's also a beverage station on the other side and it's really quiet up here take your food from downstairs and bring it up here it's really quiet most of the time you can see um, the main area of the buffet down there there's two larger areas downstairs and there's a secret staircase here from the buffet up to the second floor Around to the back of the ship this is where you are gonna find the smoking area so if you are a smoker up here on deck 10 at the back is where you can do that. There's lots of places to sit out here as well. We are going to hop down to deck 9, the Lido deck. We'll show you the buffet in a moment, but we're going to head out the back here to where the adult pool is. Again, there's two hot tubs here and the pool. couple of 
bars, or at least one bar over there. But over here on the side, there is the, what's this restaurant Tandor. called? Tandoor. Tandoor restaurant. You can get um, Indian food, naan. They were making fresh naan here. Um, lots of different salads and things. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. And on the other side at the back, they have the Carnival Deli. So they have a wide selection of sandwiches that they'll cook for you here. And this area was open throughout most of the day, I think till 10 or 11 at night. I think it was 11 till 11. Yeah, so a good 12 hours. And the menu did change there slightly, but uh, tons of options there. Lots of these beverage stations as well, probably six or eight of them throughout the buffet area. It is the end of breakfast. So the one side of the buffet, there's still breakfast available and they're starting to prepare for lunch up near the front of the buffet, but there's all sorts of stuff for breakfast, um, bacon, eggs, um, all the toasts, omelets, everything you can imagine like that. Up here towards the front, they're starting to put out all sorts of trays of meats and cheeses. They have a carving station. The food was quite delicious. Italian section there's another one of those beverage stations in the mornings they did have juices and then at lunch throughout the day it switched to lemonade and iced tea heading over to the Mongolian walk I had an opportunity to enjoy this you get to pick your own veggies, you scoop them into a bowl, and then you let them know what kind of meat you want and what kind of sauce, and they fry it up for you fresh. Don't forget your ice cream. So they've got yogurt and soft serve, a couple of different flavors there, vanilla and chocolate, as well as cones and bowls. And right outside the door there, you're gonna find What's pizza. Menu? What's on the menu today? They made pizza all day and all night on this ship. The guys work like crazy. Overlooking this pool area, we're actually jumped up one flight here. Looking over the pool, you can see that's where you're gonna watch your movies in the evening and lounge around here. There's, it's a great place to hang out. There's also a couple of bars in this area. Everyone's super friendly. And there's also, um, it's not in this video, but there's an area where you can grab burgers and fries and different things like that as well. There's also life jackets if your kids need them for the pool. Yeah, I think they even had some, it looked like bigger sizes if adults needed them as well. But uh, all sorts of sizes there. Always music playing, people dancing, hanging out. This is where they usually put on um, the different shows, the hairy chess competition or the synchronized swimming. It's all out by the pool here. Uh, they've got a towel exchange if your towels are wet you can also buy towels here if you want to bring one home with you and there's another bar over here on the other side they also serve popcorn over here in the evenings yeah for, for the movings this is where you'd grab the popcorn in the evenings if you're gonna watch the movies I love this elevator I keep going back to it <laughs> If you are into art, there is art all over the ship. And um, yeah, you can buy art here. Um, they have different art shows kind of set up. So um, a lot to look at in that way. And again on deck nine, cabins both directions at the front of the ship. We are gonna head down the stairs here to deck eight. Which is the veranda deck. And now this is where you get into the cabins that run the full length of the ship and it's a feels like it's as far as the eye can see. It goes on forever. Deck 7, Empress deck. Now I want to show you secret deck on deck 7. Um, a secret kind of patio. It's up here towards the front. There is these doorways you can go through and this um, you go out here. It's actually quite windy when the ship is moving. I showed you this also when we were in Mazatlan the other day. But um, you can come out here. It's always really quiet and overlook the ocean. There was a sign one of the days saying not to go out there because it was too windy. Yeah. 
these cabins here mind you if you're booking a cabin on this ship at the front on deck six or seven remember that there'll be a deck outside your window so you could have people hanging around outside your cabin at night or during the day or during the day so just so you're aware of that we'll head down the little flight of stairs to deck six again you see the cabin windows there deck five you can see you can't go down there it says crew only and this is called the upper deck and the bridge is up there you can get a cool view of that All right, back inside, just a quick note, if you're cruising on here, odd cabins are on one side of the ship and even cabins are on the other side of the ship. So just uh, it's an easy way to find where you're going. Deck five, the promenade deck. Do you like all these um, donuts on the ship? I, I see these circles everywhere and I think of Homer Simpson. There's pink donuts everywhere on the ship. It's kind of funny there's, but um, this is where you're going to start to find all the shopping. We're looking over into, that's deck three down there. There's always games. It looks like they're playing some bocce ball down there. Outside the main stores, you will find displays of items that will be for sale. They change from day to day. Today they have lots of watches and jewelry and different promotions going on. So if you're into shopping, take a look, see what they have each day. Uh, there might be something there for you. Down that way on the left there is the casino. We'll head there shortly. And this is the candy shop. We'll check that out in a minute as well. First we're going to head into the fun shop, which is, I guess, Carnival's uh, store that sells carnival stuff. You can bring home a snow globe if you want. It's one of my favorite stores to wander around through. It's a lot of their typical souvenirs. You, for 20 bucks there, you get a hat and a t-shirt. You have your sunscreen, your mugs, um, your typical souvenir items that you're gonna find on a cruise ship. Some people collect these ships. You can buy those there for 30 bucks. And all sorts of t-shirts. Again, these t-shirts were typically more expensive than if you found them up on the upper deck by the pool. And who doesn't love candy? chips and toiletries if you need some shaving cream or they also had kind of Advil, Tylenol um, off, bug spray. I didn't see any bugs but maybe if you're going on an excursion. And for you smokers out there you can buy cigarettes and they also have alcohol up here as well. Tried to get some of the pricing for you if you're interested in knowing what they charge. So, towards the back of the shop, they do have quite a bit of name brand stuff. They have Guess, um, Billabong, swimwear. If you need swim trunks or T-shirts, they have that here. Note, they did not have children's swimming suits. Mm -hmm. um, the sports bar here, they had a, I think they only had ESPN in there. They didn't have a lot of channels on, um, but that's the sports bar. And here's the candy shop. Your kids are going to be begging you to go here. And you can get flowers as well if you are having a special um, party on board. Bulk candy, as well as you can order... Cakes, so happy birthday cakes, anniversary, if you're mm -hmm. celebrating something, you can come talk to them here and they can arrange it for you. Happy honeymoon. And then the last big shop is this, um, it's more of a cosmetics and jewelry store. Lots of um, different perfumes, everything you can imagine. Sunglasses. It's actually quite nice with the windows that go right through to the outside in the store. And then your classic Effie jewelry that they sell you when you're on board the ship. And watches. Lots of watches. Endless amounts of watches. <laughs> 
Ironically, my watch did break on the cruise that I had brought, so I did need a watch while on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't buy you a watch. <laughs> Tons of brands, fossil, gas. If you need money, you they do have an ATM on board. You can grab that. We went down the hallway here. We are over at the casino. We'll do a quick walkthrough of the casino for you. Smoking is allowed in the casino. All your typical They've got all sorts of games here and also your table games, lots of different table games. It was actually a fairly large casino for a cruise ship. And as any other casino, there is beverages being served all over the place. They've got the bar here as well as some. Um, Lots of places to, to sit. And it's my favorite guy, Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head! He's leading us to the coffee shop. So they do have a paid coffee shop here. This one has specialty beverages for you as well as specialty cakes and desserts um, you do have to pay to order from this coffee shop and right next to that is the o2 club for i believe it was ages 13 to 17 years old this is kind of their hangout there's nobody in there right now but they have all sorts of youth parties and different things in there you're also going to find these tv screens all over the ship that show you the speed and um, temperature of the ship that sort of thing Wandering down here, this is the other place your kids are going to drag you to, is the arcade. And the Splendor has a large arcade. It is by far the biggest arcade I have ever seen on a cruise ship. And it's, it was quite busy as well. Uh, I guess it's probably because it's a sea day. Um, I could imagine it's quieter on, on port days. But um, some of the other ships we've went on, the... The, um, the arcades seem not very busy, and I, it may have been that there weren't as many children on those ships. Um, this is a very family-oriented ship, so there's lots of kids. And it is August, so some families are still on summer vacation. The, the casino, the arcade is actually bigger than it appears. It goes around the corner, and there's quite a few games in here. Alright, so let's head towards the back of the ship. This is where you're going to find the, I think it's the Grand Piano Bar. Again, these places are quite busy in the evenings. Um, this is the late morning right now, so they're all, all quiet. And at the back here, you are going to find the, what was it called? The El Morocco Aft Lounge. So this is the comedy club here at the back. This ship is known to... Um, party late and everybody sleep in I, that's what I've heard about this ship and it tends to be true like it seems to be really quiet in the mornings on this ship and um, other ships we've been on have been kind of the opposite so I think again things are going on late at night so comedy going late into the evening deck four Atlantic deck one flight down this is where you're gonna find the gold pearl restaurant this is one of the formal restaurants here at the back of the ship and they typically post the menu out on the back so you can check it out earlier. And then from there you can walk through, you're going to find the Robusto Bar. Lots of big leather chairs to hang out in and um, again these areas get quite busy late at night. This is the boardroom, it's a private room. Um, I believe if you have private functions, you can they set up different things in here. And we're going to sneak into the Black Pearl. Um, I know 
it's not really open right now, but the door is open, so I'm gonna walk through here. This is the upper area, so this is where, um, if you have a set time dining, you would eat up in this area. And then we'll peek over the edge, because downstairs is where you're gonna do the anytime dining, which is what we're doing, so we've been eating down there every day. And there is also a library out in the main area. They have games in here you can play. Um, over in the shelf, you can see they have some stuff for there you can go through. It seemed like it was mostly people playing games, not a lot of reading going on in there. And this is the Pixels Gallery. You can come here to find some souvenirs to keep your pictures. You can buy your photos that they've taken of you when you've come on board or in port or uh, even for the evening they'll take some photos on your way to dinner as well as they have camera supplies. And at the front of the ship this is where you're gonna find this spectacular theater. So your evening shows are mostly in here. This is where they've got all the dancing shows and singing and acrobatics anything like that that they do. They'll do here over at the front. It's quite a large theater and I think all the seats can see really well um, and they're they're quite comfortable we're gonna drop down a deck we are on deck three and over on the left hand side is the customer service desk and again more games being played someone just won something the beautiful atrium there's those elevators we were looking at earlier they go right up to I think deck 11 or 12 up there so this is the entrance for the My Time Dining, um, right in the deck three at the front, or in the middle of the ship. And you just line up along here, and they actually come out and, and get your name while you're waiting in line. So you walk in pretty quickly, they give you a little ticket so you can um, give it to them, and they take you right to your table. You can request too if you want to be a table for two or on your own. And right here is the excursion desk. So if you're gonna book any carnival excursions, you can come hang out here. They'll tell you all about it and you can learn about that. We're gonna head outside here and just check out the, the deck that's out on the side on both sides of the ship on deck three. A lot of shade out here as it's under the light boats. And at times it seemed to be quite windy when we go out there. However, it was quite quiet, so you could always come for a little snooze out here. It's actually kind of a secret place, another secret place that stays quite quiet that you can come hang out in. One last thing, we are down on deck two, and um, across from 367, there is a laundry room. We never use the laundry machines, but it's a really nice option to be able to do coin laundry while on a cruise ship if you need to wash your clothes and not pay the higher prices to have someone else do your laundry for you. And I believe there was a couple of those on the ship. Um, I only saw the one, but I was told there was more than one. All right, so that's kind of the end of our, our cruise ship tour. And we are up on deck nine again, and there is some partying going on. What's going on, Andrea? It's the Harry Man competition. So they are going around they're doing conga lines actually the winners the the finalists they whoever could have the biggest conga line that was the person who was crowned the champion of the hairiest chess competition people are having fun getting into their uh, dancing spirit and just enjoying their beverages we're gonna spend the afternoon relaxing in the sun water sliding mini golfing just enjoying ourselves Tell us about the mini golf, Andrea. <laughs> well, I struggled. Uh, <laughs> I, I, even to get the game started, it was a little bit wavy and definitely windy. So it was fun. Couldn't take the game too seriously. No, if you are going to have a competitive mini golf match, make sure you do it when the ship is at port. But we did manage to sink a couple hole in ones and some others that were not a hole in ones. We still had lots of fun, though. It was fun. Yeah, and what was that, Andrea? A hole in one on the bean, bean bag toss, so. 
We are in the Splendor Lobby. We are ready to have formal night dinner again. This group has played throughout the cruise. They're just great and we're enjoying listening to their music. Do you remember what they're called? Yes, I do. They were called MJ String Trio. They were they were wonderful. We enjoyed watching them. It is formal night. There's always actually some kind of entertainment going on. I had the steak. I really enjoyed the steak on the Carnival Splendor. And um, yeah, they've got the, your people just walking around. Your staff is up on the tables dancing, just having a great time. And Andrea, what's your favorite dessert? Oh, the melting cake, chocolate cake. It was really good. So we had that again. I think you had it every night on this cruise. I did, every night. Every night. And um, then we head off to the show for the evening. The shows were wonderful. Lots of singing and dancing. We had a great time. This evening, we are going to head off after the show and hang out at the hot tub. Thank you so much for watching this day six vlog. We, I know it was a little bit longer. We wanted to give you a full ship tour, comprehensive ship tour. So I hope that helped you out. And um, also remember, tomorrow is another sea day. We've got synchronized swimming coming up. We're not in it, mind you, but uh, synchronized swimming. There's a competition, men versus women, all sorts of other stuff coming up. So remember to like this video if you did enjoy it, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos. Thank you so much again for watching, and take care.